Hello, welcome to Mini Vlogs. You're watching Mini Vlogs Vlogs. This is the floor. That's Spider Man. And today, I want to talk to you about news that I just heard about, and that's Mega Constructs. Pokemon. Now this has been going on for a little while now. Now this has been rumored. Um, I can't remember when I first saw it. I think it was in one of the Facebook groups, which by the way, shout out to Megablocks Worldwide and Mega Constructs News. Uh, both of them are a cool place to go check out for all the latest news from Megablocks and Mega Constructs. And it was in one of those posts that talked about all the rumored new sets coming out, which were Mega Constructs. Pokemon and I, I, I commented on on whatever that post was thinking more or less along the lines of does does mega constructs work for Pokemon Pokemon's one of the VIPs that exists Globally, you know P Pokemon is such a big franchise when you think that Pokemon is a Nintendo published video game It's an IP that exists with part of the Nintendo family that spawned um, into both a manga, manga, and an anime, which they both chose their own respective mascots, and Pikachu went to the anime, and the whole thing blew up, and then you think about Pokemon, you don't think about it being a video game. But Pokemon is. But Pokemon's one of those things that, like, last year, Pokemon Go took over the planet. Uh, I played it for a couple of minutes, and then decided that it was fun, but... It wasn't much fun. No offense to Mega Constructs, because clearly I'm very much invested in the things that you make. But when you're going to talk about like Mega Blocks, Mega Constructs versus Lego, there is there's no competition there. Like yes, you can do your own thing with Mega Blocks, Mega Constructs. You can make cool little minifigure toys and and sets which are very much similar to what Lego do. But the toys themselves, the minifigures themselves, they've actually started like cornering out their own market for it. Whereas Lego is a ridiculously popular brand. Like it, it, I think Lego just won a toy award for most recognizable brand. Period. Lego does everything. Lego Batman the movie is in cinemas and it's, it's tearing it up apparently. It's very good. I've not watched it. I'll probably watch it at some point. And then like the Traveler's Tales, the Lego video games, they're awesome. So it's like, why would you take a brand like Pokemon and not put it into that Lego ecosystem? And it's like, do they even need it? Clearly, they're going to lend that license out to toy companies to build toys for. But it's like Pokemon and Mega Constructs. In what world do they exist? And like, it would be awesome if they existed. For for years, I've been saying that why isn't there a Pokemon like little miniature circulated miniature figure? You know, the blind bag Pokemon's would be really, really cool. But in that sort of sense, I'm sure there are lots of mini Pokemon figures. And here we are, 2017 Mega Constructs. Knocks it out of the park with the announcement that Pokemon is coming to Mega Constructs. And I quote, With a legacy of over 20 years in the making, the world of Pokemon spans video games, trading cards, animation and more, rallying a massive fan base around the world and igniting a continued passion shared by one generation after the next. In 2017, Mega Constructs will bring the world of Pokemon to life with an all new line of highly detailed, action packed construction sets that fans will love. One of the coolest things we did was design a unique system that allows us to develop an endless array of buildable, articulated figures that really look and feel like the Pokemon that fans know and love, says toy designer and lifelong Pokemon fan Philippe Rogers. Rogers? Philip Rogers. Find your favorites originally discovered in the Kanto region with some of the franchise's most iconic Pokemon, including Pikachu. Fans will also be able to build Pokemon evolutions going from one level to the next with Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard featured in the upcoming line. It's all part of how we're gearing up to help fans build their very own Pokemon world in 2017. Be sure to keep up with all the latest news on our website or connect and share with other fans in the Mega Constructs community as you build up to this exciting launch with us and get ready to build beyond. So the whole evolution thing is kind of fascinating. Does that mean that you can get the one figure and then add to it to make it the next and then, then to the next? That would be kind of cool, right? Although why wouldn't you want all three? So three separate ones. Who knows? Unless, of course, from a business perspective, you've got to buy the one base one, and then the upgrade, and then there's another base one, and then the other upgrade, so you've got to spend a lot more money to be able to have the three figures rather than just the one figure that you can enhance. See? Business. They understand these things. What do I think? 
I more or less put my neck out there and said that if these were a thing, I would probably go buy some. And they're a thing, so I should probably go buy some. I put up the picture of a Pikachu, and honestly, I need to see it better, but honestly, from the depth of my bowels, I can't decide if it looks great. Like the head sculpt, awesome. The ears, great. The body, a little bit. The, the arms, hmm. I can't decide. At the end of the day, the, 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 the Charizard one that they showed off is part of the uh, Coming Soon banner. Looks awesome, right? So I guess the whole Pikachu base thing is probably going to evolve into Raichu. I'm really not sure how it's going to work, but if you do Pokemon Mega Constructs blind bags, I'm going to be interested in them. If you've got some really cool Pokemon play sets, I'll probably be interested in them. Let's be honest, they look cool. And is it a sign of possibilities to come? Because if, if Pokemon is with Mega Constructs and yet World of Nintendo or Super Mario is with Kinects, could you just bring Mario to Mega Constructs? Could Nintendo come across the Mega Constructs? That'd be a cool toy line to do, particularly for me as a big Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks fan. Although saying that, those Kinex figures are very good. But that's also what makes them better. What do you think? Are you excited about Pokemon coming to Mega Constructs? Do you care? Would you rather they went to Lego or, or did their own sort of separate thing? Personally for me, I think it's awesome. I love Mega Constructs, so having the Pokemon license there is nothing but a great sign of things to come because they've got a hell of a lot of really, really awesome licenses and Pokemon is probably one of the biggest ones they've scored to date. So that's going to be like a, a massive weight on their shoulders and a massive sort of now you've got that gigantic ball run with it like seriously just knock it out of the park and let people start to pay attention to mega constructs and try and bury the original thought that people have when you think of cheaper lego right this is your this is your proven ground so many thousands hundreds of thousands millions of people the world over love pokemon and are very much active in the toy market the video game market and the trading market the card market it's everywhere it's dying down but it's everywhere you're 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 making construction sets which are everywhere and blind bags which are everywhere of this license there's no reason why that shouldn't be successful. So this is entirely with Mega Constructs to just knock it out the park. And I'm really excited to see what they do with it. And I'm definitely going to be interested in buying some of these sets. I'm not going to say I'm going to buy everything. You might have noticed my turtle sets are increasing. I'm buying everything of those because I'm a turtle guy. Pokemon, I like Pokemon very much. I'm not obsessed with Pokemon. Turtles are turtles. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below or for a more direct way to get in touch with me or ask me any questions. You can send me an email across to Miniblocks questions on mbq at mail.com. But for everything else, Pokemon, Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks and Toys, make sure to keep it locked to Miniblocks. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching my video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up the latest from my channel. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest under mini blocks. What else would it be? And if you want to see me open up my first nine pint sized heroes, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger blind bags, you can go find that video right now on Mini Blocks Unboxed. Or to see me take to the streets of Angel Grove in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Mega Battle on the PlayStation 4. You can go find that now in Mini Blocks Plays. But for everything else, Pokemon, Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks, and Toys, make sure to keep it locked to Mini Blocks. <laughs>